Welcome. Here's a cute little puzzle. Imagine you have three points in the plane. Let's call them A, B, and C. Can be any three points you like. And we're going to play a leapfrog game. So we'll start at any location we like. I'll call this P0, naught meaning the starting spot. And the idea is just to leapfrog over the points A, B, and C in turn. What do I mean by leapfrog? For example, if I'm going to leapfrog over the point A, I'll go towards A, all the way through, and land the other side of A at equal distance from whence I came. That gives me a new point, P1. And now I'll leapfrog over B, B. So I'll go straight over B, about the same distance again. That gives me a point, P2. And now I'll leapfrog over C. And I'm going to keep playing this game. There's a point, P3. Leapfrog over A again. Uh, be something like this. Leapfrog over B, and so on. So if you play this game for a while, you'll find that something magical happens in a finite number of turns. Now, I'll probably, probably guess what, how I've set this up. You're going to get my turn to start, and that's the case. So what I think you should do before you watch this video is to play this game a little bit, draw three points on, the pl on a piece of paper, start anywhere you like, maybe get out the rulers so you can do this fairly accurately, and actually play the leapfrog game. Leap over A, leap over B, leap over C, and then leap over A again, leap over B again, leap over C again, and do that in a cyclic fashion until you discover something wonderful. All right, so to do that, maybe pause this video, and I'm now going to reveal the mathematics of this leapfrog game, and I'll show you what happens. Uh, before I do this, I need to actually explain how vectors work. Now, I do that in a vector in a video called What is a Vector? And I'll give you a very sort of brief, brief synopsis of that work right now. For example, here's a point uh, P, here's a point A. Suppose I actually give coordinates. Suppose this is the point 2, 3, and this is the point so, you know, 0, 1 or something. Um, to leapfrog, that means I actually move, have to move from P to A. That is, I'll go from the vector P to A. And what is that as a vector? What well, means I've got to shift two units horizontally and it looks like two units vertically as well. So it's a very bad picture. But then, to actually leapfrog, I need to go the same distance again on the other side of A. So I need to do a second copy of P to A, which means I need to do another two units horizontally, another two units upwards. So that is my new point P1. I guess I should have called that P0. P1, in some sense, is where I started with plus two copies of the vector from P to A. Now, people might argue with what I mean by this. Um, that's fair enough. I'm mixed, mixing vector notation with point notation. But mathematically, there's actually nothing wrong with what I'm implying by this, this statement. In fact, I'm going to even make matters worse. What is P to A? Well, that's really a shift that went from 0 to 2. That is, I shifted by going 2 units horizontally. And then I shifted also by going 2 units vertically. Now, what is this 2 really? What's well, really the difference of the x coordinates. And what is this 2 really? It was the difference of the y coordinates. So in some sense, I'm going to write p1 is p plus 2 lots of a minus p. That is what I mean by that. I took the coordinates of a, there they are, and subtracted from them the coordinates of p, there they are, 0 and 1. So when I say a minus p, I know one cannot actually physically subtract points. But what I mean by that, I mean the location that's given by x coordinates, the difference between the x coordinates of a and p, 2 minus 0, and the um, difference of the y coordinates of a and p, 3 minus 1. So in that sense, I can give good, precise, clear mathematical reasoning to this quantity. Well, this is really a statement about the coordinates. The coordinates of p1 is the coordinates of p plus two lots of the difference of the coordinates of these two guys. Well, algebraically, I could write P1 is actually P plus 2A minus 2P, which means that P1 is really 2A minus, um, plus, not minus P, minus anchor. Silly me. Okay, I've just done algebra and points. Again, you might argue with me, but actually interpret this as a statement about the coordinates of these points. Yes, the x coordinate of P1 really is twice the x coordinate of A minus the x coordinate of P, and the y coordinate of P1 is really twice the y coordinate of A and the y coordinate of P. This is actually valid at the coordinate level. If, actually, if you, th if you know complex numbers, you can think of points as complex numbers, in which case the algebra of points is actually just the algebra of complex numbers and everything is really genuinely valid in this case. Anyhow, here goes. What we need to take from this is, if I start at point P0, and I'm going to leapfrog over point A. The leapfrog will take me to a position that's given by what I have. P1 is twice A minus my starting position. That's all we need to know in this leapfrog game. So what we'll do is apply that formula to the three points A, B, C in turn, and we'll see what happens. So let me clear some space. Whoops, where's my marker going away? There we go. All right, here goes. Uh, da -da -da -da. Very boring to watch me do that, but there we go. All right, so we've got the three points A, B, and C. 
we've got a starting position P0. First of all, we're going to go to P1. P1 is going to be, as we decided, twice A minus P0. And uh, P2 is leapfrogging over B. P2 will be twice B, and I'll do exactly the same formula, minus where I came from, P1. Well, what is that? P1 is just the previous formula, so it's twice B minus 2A plus P0. P3, whoop, my third point, so I've leapfrog, leapfrogged over B, now I'm going to leapfrog over C. P3 is following the same formula, twice C, the point I'm leapfrogging over, over the point I came from. P2 is have a formula for it on the previous line, so that's 2C minus 2B plus 2A minus P0. All right, my fourth point is leapfrogging back over A again, way over there somewhere, very rough picture. All right, that's according to the formula, twice the point I leapfrogged over, 2A, minus the point I just came from. Well, I've got a formula for the point I just came from, so it's 2A, here goes, minus 2C plus 2B minus 2A plus P0. Two <gasps> A's are cancelling out, lovely. My fifth point is leapfrogging over B again, zoom, over there. P5 is twice the point I leapt over, minus the point I just came from. Well, here's the point I just came from, so I've got 2B plus 2C minus 2B minus P0. And look, the two Bs cancel out. P6, my sixth point is leapfrogging over C. That would be twice the point I just leapt over, minus the point I just came from. So that's 2C minus the previous line, minus 2C plus P0, and look what's happened, P0. My sixth point, that's having leapt over A, B, and C, and then A, and B, and C, has returned me back to start. And you may have seen that if you did this exercise on a piece of paper on your own. Which is amazing. Choose any three points in the plane, start anywhere you like, leapfrog over each of them in turn. After leapfrogging uh, twice through A, B, C, A, B, C, you're guaranteed to be back to start. So now there's a lovely sort of research play, play question. What if I only leapt over two points, A and B? P naught. Play with it. See if that returns the start after a finite number of steps. And maybe do the math behind that. Or look at four points. A, B, C, D. Leapfrog of A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, and so on turn. Um, you might find those two cases I've just mentioned are very curious. But add a fifth point. Play with that one and see what happens there. If you really want a research question, uh, we should go into chapter 22 of this uh, book, Thinking Mathematics, Volume 2. Because there I pose another question very similar, but it's just going to be two points again. Not three points, two points. If I can get my pen back. A and B. And here's, let's play a really strange leapfrog game with a kink. I claim, if you start any location you like, do the following kinky le leapfrog. Walk to the point A, but instead of going straight forward, the same distance again, turn to the left 90 degrees and make that your new point. So these two equal distances. That's P1. Now, walk towards B. Du -du 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 -du. And instead of going straight forward like a leapfrog, turn left 90 degrees and walk the same distance. That's your new point, P2. And now, do, now go back towards A again. Du -du 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 -du. Walk towards A, but then turn left 90 degrees, get a new point, P3. See if you can analyze this game. It too does return to start. So see if you can see why that happens and see if you can tell me in how many steps it takes to return to back to the beginning. That 90 degree bend. That's a real little twist to this problem. I love it. All right, thanks very much.